Are you wearing the, sh the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 2000s movies that defined our childhood. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at the best films released between 2000 and 2009 that marked us in the best way growing up. We're excluding wholly animated flicks though, since that's a different list. We'll be discussing some storylines, so beware of potential spoilers ahead. Which movie from the aughts did you obsess over as a kid? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Mamma Mia Mamma Mia, here we go again. Talking about this top-tier jukebox movie musical. My, my, how can I resist ya? Mamma Mia, does it show again? My, my, just how much I miss. The cast is phenomenal. While the plot about a woman's relationship with her mum and quest to figure out who her dad is is full of heart, and Fantastic doesn't even begin to describe the electrifying musical numbers. Plus, for some of us who were younger, the film provided one of the first exposures we had to ABBA. Not to mention, it made us want to move to Greece. Basically, it hit all the right notes, drawing audiences in and holding them so close. So our childhood selves went wild for it, and we're still obsessed. Each time I think I'm close to knowing, she keeps on growing, slipping through my fingers all the time. We'll always be immensely grateful to Mamma Mia for making us feel like dancing queens. You are the Number 9. Hannah Montana The Movie Say it with us now, you get the best of both worlds. You get the best of both worlds. Chill it out, take it slow, then you rock out the show. The Hannah Montana movie gave us exactly that, taking us deeper into the life of the Miley Stewart we got to know on the Disney Channel. We loved accompanying our protagonist on her journey to Tennessee and watching as she rediscovered her identity, ultimately bearing it all in a big way. And lest we forget that this is the film that gave us The Climb, a power ballad we still know by heart and walk around dramatically belting. You can bet it had us doing the hoedown throwdown too, or trying to. Heartfelt and funny, this flick made us very happy kids in 2009. Number 8. School of Rock We've been pledging allegiance to the band since 2003, and we'll never stop. I pledge allegiance to the band, to the band. of Mr. Schneebly. School of Rock has a relatively simple plot. Floundering musician Dewey, played by the inimitable Jack Black, lies about being a substitute teacher. Soon he starts a band with his students in the hopes of emerging victorious in a competition. The straightforward premise is executed flawlessly with emotion, depth, and so much fun. Seeing how Dewey and the kids help each other find themselves while making killer music really marked us back in the day. Don't take much to memorize your lies. Feel like I've been hypnotized. We genuinely felt like we were part of the group, seeing ourselves reflected in the characters, and that's a priceless childhood experience. Rock may have no reason or rhyme, but this movie makes perfect sense. Number 7. The Notebook. Was an over. Still is an over. Some movies shape your identity when you're growing up. You're one person before they begin playing, and almost someone else entirely by the time the end credits roll. For a lot of us, The Notebook, which chronicles the lives of Noah and Ali, was one of those films. After all, it had everything necessary to melt our hearts and make us sob. And opposites attract romance, conflict, tragedy, an unexpectedly bittersweet ending, and more. I want all of you, forever, you and me, every day. <laughs> the central couple's love is the kind you dream about one day finding as a child. Big, passionate, all-encompassing. And sure, we now see that their relationship was deeply imperfect, but that doesn't change the way it touched our younger selves. 
We'll be birds with those two forever. Now say you're a bird too. If you're a bird, I'm a bird. Number six, the devil wears Prada. Do you see florals in spring and think, oh, groundbreaking? Do you feel like dismissing people by saying, that's all? Are you acutely aware of what cerulean is? If you answered yes to any of those questions, chances are The Devil Wears Prada was a big deal to you upon release. It spotlights Anne Hathaway's Andy, who starts working for the no-nonsense Miranda Priestley, portrayed by Meryl Streep at Runway magazine. One time an assistant left the desk because you know, she sliced her hand open with a letter opener and Miranda missed Lagerfeld just before he boarded a 17-hour flight to Australia. She now works at TV Guide. As her life changes, she has to decide who she wants to be. The stellar cast brings style and substance, while the story is clever and sharp. By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. It's no wonder Runway strutted its way into our hearts. It's not the only film Hathaway revolutionized our lives with, but it remains one of our favorites. Number five, the Lizzie McGuire movie. I just, oh, Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Hilary Duff owned the 2000s. From Raise Your Voice to A Cinderella Story, her movies filled our tiny bodies with endless glee. Perhaps no role of hers was as impactful as Lizzie McGuire. We all related to Lizzie on the Disney Channel. The 2003 movie wrapped up her story via a breathtaking sojourn in Rome, where she learned she's basically famed singer Isabella Parigi's doppelganger. Freaky, huh? Way freaky. Way, way freaky. She's convinced by Isabella's musical partner, Paolo, to take the star's place, initially not realizing he has sinister intentions. It's super entertaining stuff, to put it mildly. Everything from the Vespa riding to what dreams are made of to the iconic dialogue had us jumping for joy when we first saw this film. Honestly, nothing has changed. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Number four, high school musical franchise. What team? If you said Wildcats, we're betting you, like us, were hooked on the high school musical movies in the aughts. We're not exaggerating when we say 2006, 2007 and 2008 were better years because of these releases. Following Troy, Gabriella, Sharpay and the rest of the characters as they figured life out through song and dance helped us to do the same. Each musical number became an anthem we memorized and the routines fundamentally altered our brain chemistry. Now, folks may have differing opinions on which of the three films is best, but we're all in this together in terms of agreeing that the trilogy defined our youth. What time is it? Time to have a high school musical marathon, we reckon. Number three, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Who among us wasn't waiting for a Hogwarts letter in the 2000s? If we're being real, we're still holding out hope it'll one day arrive. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard. The Harry Potter franchise was huge, and while all the films are great, this was the first. And it wasted no time putting us under its magnetic spell. Gryffindor! <laughs> We truly couldn't get enough of the immersive wizarding world and all the fantastical magic it had to offer. It was impossible to look away as Harry's story began unfolding, watching him, Hermione and Ron develop a lifelong friendship and fight against evil was downright epic. Devil's snare hates sunlight. Who must kill him? To this day, we find ourselves referencing the story, shuddering at the thought of you-know-who and asking others what Hogwarts house they'd be in. Number two, Legally Blonde. Whoever said orange is the new pink was seriously disturbed. <laughs> what, like creating a movie that'll stick with countless people forever is hard? What, like it's hard? When Reese Witherspoon's L Woods gets into Harvard Law, many expect her to fail but she soon proves she has what it takes while fully coming into herself. Thanks to Elle, we believed that we could become lawyers or anything else we wanted. More importantly, we believed we could do it without sacrificing our identity. 
pink, bubbly, smart, witty and endlessly quotable. Legally Blonde taught us that we could tackle the world in 2001. Exercise gives you endorphins. Endorphins make you happy. Happy people just don't shoot their husbands. They just don't. With it by our side, getting older didn't seem as scary. As a bonus, we now feel comfortable using legal jargon in everyday life, are pros at the bend and snap, and know all about perm maintenance. Because isn't it the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you're forbidden to wet your hair for at least 24 hours after getting a perm, at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thyglocolate? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Crossroads, Britney Spears, a road trip and a touching tale about friendship. What more could you want? Five hundred days of summer. The reality of this innovative rom-com defied our expectations. You should have. Yeah, the... That's so nice. Thank you so much. No I'm excited to read it. Twilight. We were eating out of this movie's sparkly vampire hands. You're beautiful. Beautiful. This is the skin of a killer, Bill. Spy Kids. These kids were basically our heroes. Where's my mom and dad? Thanks. I got it. What'd he say? I'll play it backwards. They're in the dungeon. They're in the dungeon. Hurry. Bridget Jones's Diary. Quirky and cute, this film hit us in the feels. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mean Girls Whenever we're looking to relive our childhoods, we turn to Lindsay Lohan's filmography. Freaky Friday, for instance, has never let us down. But it's Mean Girls that rocked our worlds the hardest in the aughts, and the same remains true today. An entire generation of us remembers the day we first saw it, or at least how we felt experiencing the hilarious, heartwarming teen flick in all its glory. Why is everybody stressing over this thing? I mean, it's just plastic. It's really just... The shenanigans that unfold as Katie bonds with Janice and Damien falls for Aaron and gets in over her head with the Regina George-led plastics will always be everything. Seriously, Wednesdays, Pink, Candy Canes and October 3rd forever hold special meaning. It's all, dare we say, quite fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.